Well, do you see further consolidation down the road? Obviously, the sprint yeah. is gone by the wayside for now. Nothing's but gone. Exactly. Yeah. Well, are you back talking? Listen, no, we're not talking. Right now, everything that made sense a year ago makes 10 times more sense right now. My theory is all content's going to the internet, all internet is going mobile. That's why, you know, our industries, by the way, Bonnie, they're defined by the infrastructure that you built. You build a cable, you're a cable company. You build the wireless, you're a wireless company. Customers don't care. They're all gonna come together, so cable players have to enter wireless, not in that silly way that they are now. People need to have access to content, and players like us need scale and or the ability to migrate. So where else are you looking then? Plenty of free cash flow. Are you thinking that maybe you'll institute a, a, a dividend or better dividend, more buybacks, or will it be maybe to search for a new target? Yeah, yes, yes, and yes. I mean, I, think about the fact that what we had... You know, that much we, free we, cash flow. Listen, we had $2.7 billion worth of free cash flow in, in uh, 2017. We announced a 16 to 19, 46 to 48 percent compound annual growth of free cash flow, including, by the way, the buyback of shares that we're doing already. That's tremendous free cash flow. And we're the only player, by the way, with service revenue growing and margins expanding. So, so we do have that option. Um, we are interested in what we're doing, which is an organic migration, but we realize that there are ways to grow scale. There are things that we can put together with T-Mobile. One of the things we have that's great is a brand that's amazing. You are not opening your jacket right now. <laughs> uh, well, I, I can give you my title, not only my... Uh, but our brand is huge, and it stands for something, something big and getting, uh, getting bigger. It's 16,400 stores in a nationwide network. There's well, a Deutsche lot of Will Deutsche Telekom up at stake? It's about 66% right now. Yeah, I, it, you know, Deutsche Telekom has already uh, made public, and you know, I'm sure they'll talk about it more, that in, in the uh, share repurchase program that we're doing, not only are they not going to sell shares, but they've, uh, they've discussed their plans to also buy shares. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, uh, this is a great investment for them. Do you and, still consider all... yourself in competition with the big wireless providers, or are you looking beyond that at this point? Oh, no, they're dead. Uh, we, you know, we're way past them. That road, so road kill. Who's your peer? Who, who are your competition? Uh, um, in, in wireless in the U.S.? Well, I'm asking so, you, who do you consider to be the companies that you're... In competition with. I, no, obviously we compete with AT&T and Verizon, but they're very easy because they're distracted. They're dumb and dumber. They don't care about their customers. Um, so we compete with them clearly, but we compete with them in a totally different way called the uncarry, called solving pain points, called loving your customers. It's foreign to them. So yeah, we compete with them, but they're easy.